are back. This library is coming along nice. It's had the first floor, second floor. Today, we are going to be doing the third floor. The third floor won't be all that difficult. It's just basically the this part of the second floor that we have to replicate. The fourth floor will be pretty much the same thing. So we're just doing a lot of the same thing over and over again. I, uh, in the last video I mentioned about this uh, tunnel heading over to the marketplace. I, while, while we were gone, I cleared all this out. So that way the tunnel is perfectly perfectly positioned and sized. So what I'm thinking is from the marketplace it's going to go really above the library. So all of this will be floor and above here will be some stairs and some other things. This library is completely subterranean. So, all of this down here will be, you know what, I don't know what it'll be yet, but we'll figure it out. Either way, to get from this fourth floor level to here, we are going to have to probably knock a doorway in and tunnel th through and then back and then down to end up right about here of another doorway going in. So when you're on this fourth floor, you can come in, go to the doorway, it'll go up the stairs, and it'll take you to, well, almost outside. This is the basement of the marketplace, so the actual marketplace will sit on top. I think I've shown it to you guys before, but we can have another quick look. Here it is. It's a monster of a building. There we go. I've actually built part of this before. I could show you kind of what I'm going for here. But I think I'll show that to you another time. Alright, so let's get back into it. Also, a little fun fact. Um, behind this is a uh, basically a stairwell just a small one that's kind of intended for construction purposes like if you were actually building this place the construction workers would need a way to get all the way to the bottom so that's what this is if we take out this wall you'll see that it had openings all along here to let in light uh, so there's one here behind the eye, there's one down there, but there's one up here, and I'm thinking maybe we could turn this kind of above the crown area into a balcony, just another balcony to look out this, you know, in this direction. I'm not sure because the ceiling height will be here, so it doesn't really give a lot of room but, if I can make it work, we will do it. Alright, let's get on to the fun part, the building. <laughs> it's actually kind of the boring part, but... Can't expect the final product if you don't put work into it, so... Here we go.
looks like we forgot one. Forgot two. There we go. Get this corner. There goes my refrigerator. I know you guys can hear it. <laughs> Nothing else works on this phone, but that microwave is, or that microphone, <laughs> the microwave, the microphone is uh, very good. Very, very good. There we go. Let's build the second part. That's one side. I actually wanted to show you this. Let me turn the lights up. I actually kind of, for this this part of the balcony, the second floor balcony, I uh, just added a little bit of detail here, just to change it up a little bit. I extended these up like so, and that's that. I just like the the shadow that it creates. And I don't think that the whole structure, I think if you get in here, I mean, no matter where you are, you can see the skull pretty well. So my balcony doesn't really obstruct the skull a whole lot. I mean, if you're on the balcony from here, not much to look at. I wonder if you can look through the nose. Oh, you can. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I should play. Maybe, I mean, if there's going to be insides to this, maybe I could put, like, doorways or something in here that also go in. Kind of gives you a reason to walk down here besides grabbing a book. I don't know. We'll play around with it. We'll see. I'd like to get the uh, the ceiling on. 
So the fourth floor will be probably its own video. Then the ceiling will be its own video. The that final stairwell and tunnel kind of connecting this to the outside world will probably be its own video. I'm trying to keep videos under around 30 minutes or less only because it seems to take hours and hours to upload them otherwise. Uh, but once all that is done, then I'd like to dig into these eye sockets and kind of make the caves and everything else that'll be behind here. I thought about the word, is it arcanium? Would, be, would describe this kind of a library? Kind of esoteric knowledge and things like that. I mean, it has a skull in it, so... It's not your regular, you know, town library here. Unless your library does have skulls in them. Maybe it does, I don't know. Probably not. I mean, I was watching my videos just to kind of see how they all come out. I can hear my tapping. Tap, 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 tap. So if you guys are going to stay with me for the, for the long haul, <laughs> I hope you like the noise. pretty good it looks somewhat okay I was talking to a friend about these videos and like he's like oh you're making one of those let's build videos I'm like well yeah I guess if you want to call it that, that's what I'm doing. Let's build it block by block by block. He's like, yeah, that's what they do in those. Oops. 
can't be a winner all the time. Alright. There we go. I like that. I really like the look of this whole, this whole thing is coming together quite nice. I should have put the railing in first. just I always like to try to find I don't know the fastest way to build it since most of it is you know I don't know like the same 20 blocks over and over again kind of helps your speed along if you can figure out what's the fastest way to put all those blocks into place. to do. I wonder what it would look like if I just left it open. You don't like that? No, I don't. It doesn't really fit with anything else. That would be a child safety concern. Can't have that in a medieval library. I thought about using wood for these kind of the railing tops just to break it up a little bit, but all the rest of it is stone. Stone is kind of the theme here, given that it's subterranean, so I'll just stick with stone. These are the same blocks I used for the floors. There we go. Oh, forgot the back here. So that is done. is really not that big if you think about it. It's just kind of a horseshoe shaped room. Let's go up the stairs. I like how these stairs turned out. This really turned out good. Let's get some book 
bookshelves. Because you can never have too many bookshelves. Alright, what are we doing? Five high? Three, four, five. Let me just double check. Pretty sure it's five high. Yep. This will be the bibliography section, the section that no one reads or cares about. We'll put periodicals on that <laughs> on that upper floor, the fourth floor. done here. Oops. Oh, we are done. Okay. So it's coming along nice. I wonder if you can even see the shells from the floor. Nope. Okay, you can just barely see the tops of them. I wonder what it looks like at night. Yeah, I'm going to have to lighten it up on the outside. Like how these ones have torches on the posts, I'm going to have to do the same thing up there. Just to give it some light. This is going to be a very dark room otherwise. Alright, arches. Okay. Seems like something's missing there, but I guess not. go.
You know, really, it doesn't take too long to do all this. It is the patience and the monotony <laughs> can eat away at your soul. But the reward is the finished product. See, see how these have this concrete above the books? I wonder. I wonder if we're placing it with concrete like so. And it actually looks pretty good. It's not just all stone blocks. Maybe I'll go back and maybe I'll go back and replace all that. In the meantime, So that part of it is done. Now I need to do the arches from the columns to the wall.
there. I kind of don't like this edge. I don't know. It just doesn't flow right. Ones are all done. Let's add this doorway. here should be arched. Alright, and then the last thing for this floor is the trapdoor ceiling. I like coffered ceilings in houses, really anywhere, wood ones. I think too often ceilings are a neglected part of the house. The floors and the walls everyone focuses on, but the ceilings they just just paint it white and call it good. <laughs> Not in my buildings. Often, actually, often the ceiling is the nicest part. You will see soon. double check and make sure it's looks the same to me oh yeah it looks fantastic I like that all right so since this floor is done I think I'm gonna wrap this video up right here be a good maybe I'm gonna 
use that as the thumbnail. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good day.